Hey everyone, thanks for heading over here to my YouTube channel. Um, I just want to do a flip through of these two beautiful journals here and I think IGTV um, just won't allow me to probably talk as long as I need to to explain everything. So um, yeah, so here we are. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with this one. Well, actually, I'll just tell you a little bit about these. So uh, these I'm calling tiny rose garden um and i've also put the name in french although i cannot pronounce it um <laughs> i don't i i literally google translated it but um i just wanted it to have like a little french name and a french touch because you know i'm always inspired by french things and um you know these contain french uh, pieces here and there whether they be textiles or papers and whatnot so um, but overall, they are a tiny rose garden that I feel as though I've created um, here on the covers in this particular section here. So, um, so yeah, let me just start with, I'll start with this one. This is the first one I made um, and talk a little bit about this one. So, okay, um, the base fabric here is um, cabbage dyed textiles. You may have seen my story when I did a little bit of an experiment and um, cabbage dyed for the first time and I got several different colors and I was very um, excited because I wanted to get sort of an ombre effect um, and speaking of ombre effect how about this sorry ribbon with ombre effect just beautiful um, my little tag with some gold gilding but anyway the cover the covers have my cabbage dyed textiles and this is an avocado dyed one you can see them better back here um, so this is how's like kind of a lilac or purple shade, maybe lavender, and then this is like a light green, and then this is the avocado dyed pink fabrics. And then just a little sea green sari trim there, and my hand stamped brass. Um, these are vintage um, little bars, um, and I stamped them with um, like metal letter stamps and like a hammer. Um, so anyway, and then on the cover, you just see more of that ombre effect in here. I kind of like dip dyed this fabric to get this effect, but um, this one here, this is some botanical bundle dyed fabric. And I'm gonna link the YouTuber who I found who um, did a tutorial on this and I followed it because this is how my fabric turned out. Just gorgeous, this is with um, various plants and dried flowers and um, so this is a scrap from that and then this is an antique just little piece i i purchased a sort of like an inspo pack of all these antique little fragments and so that's that's what these are is just fragments of you know whatever they once were um so i just put a little this little fragment here um on top of this one and then I just started thinking about doing a little rose garden because there was just all these little roses here. And then this piece has um, a lot of little roses here. So I kind of grabbed out all my little rose things. I have this little rosette trim. You can see that it's actual little handmade rosettes that are raised. And then this is like a little rosette made of like ribbons, I think. And then this is a hand painted vintage rose button. So I just kind of created a rose cluster here and I'm, I'm calling it a tiny rose garden, guys. And then this is just some gold sari because of course I have to have gold somewhere. 
And I love this little fragment of trim here. It's actually like a gold metallic. Sorry that the lighting's kind of funky in here. Um, this time of day, I get a lot of um, sunlight in my craft room and it's, it's a little bit much for the video. So this is the best lighting I could, um, I could manage. And then this is just a little fragment of Italian um, velvet uh, that I get from a seller in New York. And this is some antique lace. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what the cover is like. And that's, you know, pretty much the same for this one here. Um, I might as well just tell you here, this is a piece of sari. Um, and I received it in fragments like this too. And then all of these were little, just little pieces. And so I just got all my little fragments and pieces basically and just collaged them. Um, and this is what I came up with. So yeah. Okay. So back to this one. So my idea here, once I decided that I wanted to do like a, a tiny rose garden was I also wanted it to be very romantic feeling because to me, roses are romantic. Um, I'm, I like roses and I think that they are very, a, a very romantic flower. Um, and I also love all French things and I find, you know, French things to be very romantic as well. So um, call me cliche, but you know, <laughs> That's just, that's just what I think. So um, on the inside, I have my Russian telegrams I've used many times. You see me use these. I love these so much and I'm gonna use them up till they're gone because I just, they're just so pretty. I love, you know, opening a book and seeing something really pretty to look at right away. So that's why I always put them in the front. And then I've just attached a little brass charm here with a pearl and a heart and this is some more of my cabbage dyed fabrics here and just some sari ribbon so i've kind of made it like a like a layered tab and that's a vintage denison label there so here we just have a victorian die cut so beautiful it was it, it came like this already on this shape of um, cardstock very pretty this is just a little journaling card from prima this is my avocado dyed paper that I've done some inking and stamping to. And this is um, hand dyed cheesecloth, which just creates such a grungy and cool effect. I love this cheesecloth. So here we just have a vintage telegram and with the actual cover for it as well. Hello, darling. I am well. We'll write later. Love, Frank. So that would literally be like a five second text message nowadays. So crazy, huh? That goes in here. Here's just a little um, Kodachrome vintage slide. And this one is from someone's collection of photographs from Japan. So you get that. And I just included some little labels here. Um, these are stickers and you can peel these off and use them for your journaling. So I just attached them there. And then we have a Gorgeous old receipt. Love this one. It's got like a hunter green and like a forest green kind of font. Again, hard to see in this lighting, but you can kind of see the green here and this is black. So very pretty. Um, the, the color scheme here is kind of pink, pink, red, green, maybe a, a few shades of lilac or purple, but um, kind of sticking to pinks and greens and, and definitely pops of red. So this is some very, this is from an old music, music sheet book. It's like in the beginning of the book and it's very brittle. And so just be careful when turning the page. I had to mend it with some washi tape here. And um, see, so you can see this little corner piece. And then here is just some little goodies. This is a vintage ticket stub for New York Central Railroad. And then this is a little ATC card printable, and this is from the Graphics Fairy, a perfume label printable. And I just wanted to include lots of rose, rose things, and then you know, perfume is you know, something you know that can that is romantic to me. So, and then this paper here, this is from this book, The Fashionable Lady of the Nineteenth Century, and I just liked the corsets, this photograph or this uh, drawing of corsets here. That is from 1845. So on this side, 
I have a little French postcard and I love this one because it's got all these little, in each corner, it's like these little lovers. Look how beautiful that is. I, I, this is just a very, very pretty postcard, very romantic. And it was postmarked to Paris. And then this paper here, um, I got at a thrift store. I got like a whole ream of this paper and it already had these holes here. So I'm assuming it's like maybe some type of office product or something. It probably goes to like a special binder or um, something like that. But it had these holes here and you know, I can't see a hole like that without putting a whole reinforcement on it. So I did that. And then I just thought it'd be really pretty to tie a bow. And, um, this is just a little gummed label that I tore off and put there. Okay, and then this is some gorgeous sari trim. Each one of these flowers has a little jewel inside. Just beautiful, and this is gold here. And I like that it's see-through so you can see what's, what's in there. So I just put a collage tag. And again, with kind of the colors that I was going for, um, this is a scrap of some sort of French document. And I love the fountain pen here that they used. And yeah, I just did some more collaging and this is some gorgeous wallpaper from Ruby and Pearl XO. So that just goes in here. And then this is some Italian paper and this particular pattern, although it has no angels on it, it always reminds me of angels. I don't know if it's just this blue color in the background, but it just always reminds me of little cherubs and angels. And so when I saw this, little label from the Graphics Fairy Premium membership. I had to include it right here because to me it just, it goes so well and it just reminds me of angels. So this is a vintage postcard, or envelope, excuse me, and it's empty. And I love the ones with windows. You could do so much with this. You can alter it. You can put something really pretty inside here. Uh, I just, yeah, I love these, these envelopes. So you get to decorate this one or do whatever you like with it. And then some polka dot sari here on the side. Just some little collaging with French pieces. Most of the collage bits that I use are from um, this, uh, I get these like French packs and they're all scraps of documents. And so that's kind of what I use to collage all the time. And then this is some, a French document. I don't know what kind, but I like this little stamp here. This is a French letterhead and it's from a printable from the graphics fairy. This is not from my collection. It's from the premium membership there. And I think it looks just absolutely amazing on vellum. Like I just think this is so, this particular one looks so good on vellum because of the, you know, bold letters and these images. So I, I printed it on vellum and I think it looks amazing. I love it. And then this is some ledger from New York. And fun fact about New York, it, um, speaking of romantic um, themes and feelings, um, that's I included a lot of things from New York, like the, the railroad ticket and this ledger here, because uh, New York is a um, romantic place for me because I got engaged there um, in Central Park. So there's some New York things in here because uh, to me, New York is a very, very romantic place. So anyway, um, I printed a rose on this, this ledger. Uh, you can see it, you'll be able to see it more on, when I flip to the other, when it's on the other side. Um, but yeah, so then here we just have some little fun goodies. This is, I got this from Heather, Ruby and Pearl XO. She was so kind to share a couple of these beautiful playing cards with me. I love this one. This is probably the most beautiful playing cards I have. And then this little Victorian one a French vocabulary card. Oh, I guess it means to kill. <laughs> Yikes. And then this is a Louisville and Nashville Railroad cash fare receipt, and this is an authentic receipt. So that just gets clipped in here. And then this little meadow on this craft paper is so pretty, and this is a little textile from Sarah at Crafty Paper Bits. And just some more collaging here. This is wallpaper from Heather. And then this, um, I just got this in and I love this tag so much. It's French 
from Paris. I don't know what it's for. Gosh, maybe I should learn, huh? Um, and then this is a French book page. And I just attached the tag right here. You can take it off and use it however you like. And then this is just some satin or silk. I'm not sure what this fabric is, um, but just a really pretty shiny um, light pink color. And I thought you could just do some hidden journaling or collaging right here and then cover it with this little textile. Um, and then just some little bits here, a sticker and a tuck spot in here. There we go. This botanical page is from the Victorian Garden book, I think it's called. I'll have to double check. Um, but it has really pretty botanical drawings. And then this here is from a French, um, like an embroidery and crochet magazine that I got from Sarah. Let me get it. This one here. I think it was from this one. And this is a really large magazine and I really wanted to use this page because this is so pretty. Um, but I couldn't imagine cutting down this page because I didn't want to lose all of this. Um, and it's also very thin and I didn't want to sew it up as a pocket and then you also can't see the rest of the image. So I just chose to put it in the center fold as um, like a fold out so that you can see this beautiful uh, image here. So that's that. And if you want to, you know, close it up as a pocket, you can tape it up on the side. Look at this beautiful embroidery pattern here. And then in here is this authentic Victorian card. It's it's from the back of a, or it's from a, a Victorian scrapbook. Um, and there, you can see they're in a little rose garden. So I had to, I had to include this one because um, it's um, like a mother and daughter. Uh, maybe and they're like picking roses and putting them in a basket. So how cute is that? Um, so there's that and then this is a postcard from Paris um, This is a if you've been there. This is you, these are all gold um, It's just this is a very magical area right here. It's really beautiful and I got this postcard from this postcard book that I have So we get to have that and this I love this little trim here I posted a picture of this little corner here on my Instagram um, just because of so many so many cute little things going on this little embossed paper from Rose Hill Rose Hill paper cottage and then just some fun little bits right here this is the front of a greeting card but it's like cut apart I got a pack of these um, Cut, like cut apart greeting cards where the person cut out all the messages and just kind of cut out all these the pretty pieces to use like you know in crafts and so um yeah I'm just including this one here really pretty this is just some pattern paper and this is a vintage receipt and I think it's from Belgium but I could be wrong and it's very grungy and old and it looks like they did their own tape mending to it in several places and then I had to do some more um, but this is the original tape that was on there and I love love me some old tape girl all right so there's that this is a little scrap of wallpaper from my wallpaper book and just some tickets here I just put on the side so you can Flip that open and do some journaling there and then this is a little rose wax seal and here's the other side of that rose printable on vintage um, ledger paper beautiful um, and this is the other side of that vellum look how pretty that looks ah, love that this is a little scrap of a british telegram i have these like a stack of these British telegrams and some of them are just absolutely so brittle that you really don't have any choice but to rip them up and use them in, as collage because they're just unusable. Um, and then this is some hand painted paper 
by my friend Haley Perry, and I'm going to link her shop in the description because she makes this beautiful um, little handmade, she, she like takes antique papers, and I love that she uses these like, you know, aged papers, and then she does little florals on them, and she does all sorts of different kinds of flowers too, and for me she did roses, and uh, it's just really pretty. So, and then on this side, we have a Victorian die cut here from my collection, and then just, this is, this tag, I kind of made it skinny like this because I intended you to use it kind of as a, more of a bookmark. You could write on it if you want to, but um, I think it would be kind of cool as a bookmark, and you have your big old floppy ribbon hanging out off the top. I think this just looks really pretty. So you can use that as a, like a bookmarker in your journal. Where was I? Right here. And this is a journaling card, and here's more of that telegram um, that I had to cut apart or that was falling apart. And then this is a gorgeous paper from the Maggie Holmes Flourish collection. So just like a, a large journaling card here, just to give you more journaling space because I know this journal is pretty packed. So this is my favorite sari ribbon here, just these soft colors, it's beautiful. label here and then this is a printable of an ephemera piece that I have and I scanned it and then I put this image from the graphics fairy um, on I like layered it over the top of it in a photo or image editing program and yeah I just thought that that looks kind of cool it's kind of a little um, experiment I've, I've been having a lot of fun manipulating images from the graphics fairy um, and just digital images in general uh, my husband is teaching me this program that is similar to Photoshop to manipulate digital images and it's a ton of fun once you get started. So there's that, you can journal on the back of that. This is the back of that Russian telegram. And that's the end of that one. And then I just got my little stamp here um, with a P and an R for Penny and Rose. I got this from Postal Love on Instagram and um, I was so excited to use it. So just put that on the back of the journal, kind of like as a, a signature if you will so that's the end of that one so this next one here is going to be very similar um, it pretty much has the same elements uh, a little bit of a different collaging on the front just different pieces that I had so everything here on the front is like fragments that I had so this came in an inspiration pack from um, an Australian seller and so did this, and these pieces were small. They were already already this size. I didn't have to cut them much. This one I had to trim just like a quarter of an inch, um, but they were already like small like this, and it's just perfect, perfect for this, this journal. So um, I went ahead and collaged a bunch of things on here. Um, same little rosettes, beautiful embroidery here. I mean, what, like, I just can only imagine what the, the full piece of this looked like if this is just one little fragment. It's probably just insane. And then I love this little ruffle here. And then I layered this little trim with these little pearls. And this is a little fragment of sari, <clears throat> like a sheer sari, sari fabric. Um, so yeah. And then this one has some velvet underneath my nameplate. This is some Italian um, like a moss green velvet. Okay, so this is very similar. Um, I'm gonna kind of just, you know, go through this one a little bit quicker. Same playing cards. Here's the postcard in this one. And then this is an ephemera piece from Paris. Was it a phone bill? I don't know. Where are my French friends at? comment and tell me what all these things are <laughs> um, and then this one has this thing here um, this was uh, left over from I think the liner in one of these journals and so it was just like a long scrap that I had and I, before I put it back in my scrap bin and didn't use it I thought oh let me figure something out and so I just grabbed a bunch of my little scraps paper scraps like these and sewed them in there as like a little tear away thing if you want to use it like that or maybe just do some special hidden journaling in there and then you know you can tie it back up like that but it's this is just such a pretty image this is that prima marketing paper 
so I didn't want to just throw it back in my scrap bin. I figured I could use it somehow in this journal. So it goes in here, but I'll tie that up in a minute. And just another collage tag with the wallpaper and another of that green piece of paper. Look at this, look at this beautiful fountain pen writing. Just amazing. Things like that are just all the feels to me. All right, and then some more uh, the perfume label and um, pattern paper and the rose card. I don't want to take everything out because you saw it mostly in the other journal. Um, French book page and the sticker. This is another front of a greeting card and you know it says birthday happiness. You could cover that if you want to and use it for something else or just use this for journaling. A really pretty journaling paper. I did another printing on this ledger paper. This is authentic ledger and I just um, printed on top of it. It's beautiful. This is from the Graphics Fairy Premium Membership as well. Printed this on vellum. I mean, it just, it looks so good on vellum. Love it. Another postcard from that postcard book. And a slide from Japan. And I always have to put something on my pockets. I don't know why. It's just, it's like a thing. Like, I can't look at a blank pocket. Um, so I always have to put a little collage something. Beautiful letterhead here. Here's the centerfold of this one. Look how cute this is. Like, she has roses. Everything's floral on their aprons and the pockets here. Flowers, roses. She's got flowers here and then... I liked this piece here. I, this is another reason I didn't want to cut this part off. So I just did it as a fold, fold up, fold out because I did not want to get rid of that. So this is a vintage envelope and I just kind of collaged some wallpaper onto the envelope and then turned it into um, like a tuck spot. And inside is this perfume label from the Graphics Fairy. Just gorgeous. Look at all this. And I love that black choker. So goth. And then a Victorian calling card. Hidden name card. And then this is a French envelope. Postmark from Paris in another bookmark. See, like, doesn't that look cute sticking out? I think it does. And then this is a Victorian die cut here and just a little French paper and another large journaling card. And here's the other side of that printed ledger paper. Sorry, I was out of frame. And then here's another one of those um, ephemera pieces that I scanned and I just put this image from the graphics fairy right here in the corner. I think that looks really pretty. I'm just, I'm just experimenting with this. I might um, do some different things or change it, but you know, just, I'm still learning this program. And so I'm just trying out different things and I like the way that that turned out. And then this is a little postcard. And then here's a bunch of little goodies, some more of those labels that you can peel and stick. And then that's um, the cash fair receipt. Talks about here. This is tea dyed paper that I've inked. Another tag. And I love this purple rose. And some more of Haley's. Um, hand painted paper. So yeah, coming to the end, here's my little stamp again, or my, yeah, wax seal stamp. And yeah, that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, these 
I love these so much. They're, I just really tried to create a, um, a romantic feeling with these and I have some ideas for some more romantic style journals, but, um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed these little rose, tiny rose garden journals. Um, sale, sale information uh, to be announced. So um, just enjoy the flip through for now and keep an eye on my Instagram um, so I can uh, have some time to photograph them and, and list them. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, see you next time. Bye.